In this lesson, we'll look at the project life cycle. This lesson is all about understanding the project life cycle and how it applies within Microsoft Project 2016. Once you have established your project team and they're in place along with your stakeholders and your subject matter experts and you have determined the overall goals and objectives for the project, your team can create the project scope. Once you have the project scope, then you'll want to work with your project team to determine the roles and responsibilities and create a work breakdown structure in order to break apart large objectives into smaller, more manageable tasks, which we've discussed in previous lessons. Once you've created your work breakdown structure, you can then enter your task into a task sheet or directly into a Gantt chart using Project 2016. And I showed you here, this is your Gantt chart, and you can switch to the task sheet if you want to avoid the distraction of the actual Gantt chart and simply enter your tasks when you're starting. Once your tasks have been entered into your task sheet and the Gantt chart is created, you see because if you enter your task into your task sheet and simply switch to your Gantt chart view, your Gantt chart will have been created for you. At this point, you'll want to start applying resources to your tasks. Again, your resources can be financial, material, or work slash human resources. You can apply these resources by double-clicking any of your tasks and inserting your resource information into the resource tab as mentioned previously. In the next lesson, we will discuss in depth about managing these human working resources using Project 2016. And that completes this lesson on the project life cycle.